guys welcome to another sketchbook tour we haven't done one for a while um so this one i think i started this in september so i started this in september of 2023 we're now in right at the end of march 2024 um so not too long in this sketchbook um and i was actually in two minds whether or not to um, share this sketchbook simply because I've done a lot of experimentation in this sketchbook and normally um, you would have seen previously that I've got like a junk sketchbook that I do a lot of my experimental stuff in um, and I used to like keeping this sketchbook for um, not final pieces um, but kind of my best work um, and I've really tried to loosen up I tried to experiment with my art style it's something that I've been talking about in my studio vlogs experimenting and trying new things by the way um, I have been doing some painting today so you can see all the paint on my hands um, so uh, I mean in, in the art studio today I haven't been filming much but I just thought do you know what I am going to share this sketchbook tour so before I had any second thoughts I wanted to get on and film it so excuse me for the messy hands um, but yeah so this is um, let's just get jump on into it and I'll explain as we go through why I'm not embarrassed embarrass is the wrong word but this isn't my best art so that's a disclaimer before we start but i think it's important to experiment with different styles um, in order to actually in the end improve your art style um, so this is a uh, strathmore mixed media sketchbook it is a hard one as you can hear um, i do prefer the hard sketchbooks just because um, they do get quite battered up in the end um, so it's better to kind of have something that um, can stand the test of time basically so I've got um, stickers on here as always um, the majority of them are Lee Ellickson so this one this one and this one are Lee Ellickson these these two were to do with her collaboration with Proud Hound and that was one of her Patreon stickers uh, this one is from Sunshine Bindery uh, this one is catnip and this one is Luna Isle. I will tag them all down below. So let's jump on in. Um, be kind. <laughs> this isn't my best work. If you want to go back and look at my other sketchbooks, or please do. Um, so we started on the 15th of September 2023. And this was the very end of um, Peachtober, I believe. Yes, it was Peachtober. Um, so these are some of the prompts from there. As you can see, I did a lot of um, Pokemon fan art. Um, I really love Pokemon and I enjoy doing some more fan art um, as part of the prompts. Um, and actually, that's what you'll see a lot in this sketchbook. I did a lot of um, uh, daily art challenges. So I think I've got Peach Tober in here, the first day sketchbook challenge, and also um, Delhi's Designs um, sketchbook challenge, which was 28 Days of Sunshine as well. But here we are here's some pokemon guys and this um little one here litwick i actually turned him into a sticker which came in my i think it was my um spring update my february update actually um so if you want him on a sticker he is available on my etsy store um then over here oh this was um just a page that i stuck in this was that i drew this um i drew i drew it in december um and it was for my Christmas range. This came out um, on, I did some baubles with these on that I sold at art markets and things. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this one. Really cute little reindeer, obviously using Zentangle, which I love doing. Um, more peach Peachtober. So I was going for, um, for the peach Peachtober this year, what I wanted to do is I wanted to try and merge my two art styles, which is illustration and kind of mixed media landscapey stuff so i had the idea of drawing out um illustrations of the prompts and then photoshopping them onto a mixed media background that i've painted so you'll see a mixture i think the background of this one was actually at the end of my last sketchbook tour um, but you'll see other backgrounds coming up as well with a mixture of the characters um, i do love these characters this little guy here the um robin he actually um was made into a sticker for my winter shop update as well i do love this caterpillar guy and he may make an appearance again at some point because i do love him um, but i am quite pleased with how these these turned out so these were just using fine liner marker 
and then using pro markers over the top to color those guys in um again another zen tangle this was the snowflake um i think i made this into a coloring page that was available um i think it's still available on my etsy store so you can check that one out this is one of the um, backgrounds as you can see unfortunately we have got some bleed through this mixed media sketchbook is really really good for most types of media it doesn't bleed through unless you use something like pro markers or those kind of um permanent um markers they do tend to bleed through um paint markers like poscas don't bleed through um and i don't believe the tombos do either but pro markers definitely do which you can see here which is a bit of a shame but i'm it's okay because i did photograph and scan in this background before i drew on the other side so i could use this um you can look back on my instagram and see this one this was um one of the field um, themes. Uh, this was just done with gouache and um, with some neo colours and colour pencils over the top. So a little mixed media background there. And these are some more of my characters. Um, this guy here, I named him George, George the Chameleon. He is a holographic sticker in my Etsy store now because I loved him so much. Um, I did, I really enjoyed doing these. I tried to do them a little kawaii style, as you can see with the eyes here which isn't my natural style again, but again, experimenting with illustration. Um, I am pleased with how a lot of these turned out. Um, the eyes on the ladybird look a bit freaky. Um, but apart from that, it's quite cool. And over here, these are the characters that were then superimposed onto this film field scene. Um, so I've got, here you can see a sheep, a horse, not 100% happy with the horse. The cow's pretty cool. Um, I just blacked out the background because again, there's quite a lot of bleed, bleed through, so. And same here, that's why I coloured in the background here, but you can see we did a couple of reindeers. I was playing around with reindeer ideas for the Christmas range. I didn't end up going with either of these, but they were fun, fun to try and draw. And then my little penguin, that was another one of the prompts. And again, more little characters. So George made an appearance again here on a pencil. Um, I do like this illustration. That's another illustration that I might use in the future, along with this little happy plant guy, because he looks so cute. Um, got a vampire cat, a little raccoon. Um, I enjoyed making little characters. Um, I don't know why, but I always find Peach Tober the most, I guess, what's the word, kind of um, scary is a bit intimidating. Intimidating um, daily art challenge. I don't know why, but I always think with Peach Tober I have to go like all out for it maybe it's because it comes towards the end of the year and you want to push yourself but um i don't know why um so this is why i did these characters and put them on the back on these backgrounds and i actually found it a bit too much really but now just recently coming off the back of doing um the daily art challenges for january and february um it does i don't need to make it that complicated so when i am going to take part in peach shaver again this year but i'm going to do my very best not to give myself too much work. Um, here's another um, mixed media landscape, well, a seascape really. Um, again, you have got a bit of bleak through, but if you ignore that, <laughs> um, again, this is. I actually used. I don't think I used actually any paint on this. I think this is all just neo colours, some eco line markers, and a little bit of coloured pencil, but not too much. Um, mainly just um, I was experimenting using um, neo colors, the neo color two, which is water soluble, and then going over the top with the eco line markers with the alcohol in the markers, actually then activated the water um, element in the water soluble element in the neo colors, which is quite an interesting effect actually. I like how it worked on the sea, and also the grass. I think it gave a bit more depth to the grass. Um, I want to get better at doing some more um, plein air this year. I keep saying this every single year, I never really get around to it. Um, again, I'm not sure, quite sure how that's going to work with a baby, but we'll give it a go. Um, we've got some nice little trips coming up to the Isle of Wight in Cornwall and things. Um, so I want to try and experiment with that this year a bit more, and I think I'm going to use this technique, but of course, of course, when you're outside, you don't want to have too many art materials. So I think that'll be a good idea to try. Oh, this is just a dead simple, um, I think this was just using my acrylic gouache um, and some paint markers 
um, just for a ship. I based it on um, Noah's Ark, as you can see Little Dove here. Again, this was Peach Toba. More Peach Toba prompts. You can see another little Pokemon, or two little Pokemon guys sneaking in here. Um, actually, that this is a drawing of my son's Noah's Ark, or the Noah's Ark toy. Um, but these little guys um, made, and this one made it onto that seascape that we just saw. And these two are just actually stickers that I've stuck in just to kind of fill up the page a little bit. These are freebie stickers. This was a freebie sticker for my February shop update. And this is a freebie sticker that you get for the spring update. Um, and this one is still live. So if you order from my Etsy store now, you'll get this as a freebie sticker. I'm also throwing in an Easter sticker as well because um, as I am filming this, this is right before Good Friday. Um, so there'll be like a it's like a cross with a lamb actually i think we'll see the illustration later on watch which the other freebie sticker will be but this is one of the freebie stickers um <laughs> this is a another cute kawaii style illustration that i did for peach chober um and based on david and goliath if you can tell um i had a little bit of fun doing that that's quite funny um and this is just a simple lake scape again to put the animals onto. I quite enjoy doing this because in, in the future, especially now I'm a mum, I actually would love to do children's illustration or make a children's illustration book. I love writing as well, it's a, um, creative writing as well, another one of my passions. So to write a children's book and illustrate it myself would be quite cool. So it was fun to experiment with this kind of things. Um, but again, I think I just gave myself too much work. Um, so this is a bit, um, different so this is a page um basically this was just um based on uh jenna art journal i think her um instagram handle is and she's also on youtube i'm gonna tag her below um i talked about her before and she's featured in one of my other vlogs i went to her mixed media um workshop so she's a mixed media artist but she's a christian artist and she um specializes in worship and prayer mixed media journaling and I did a bit here I just put on some worship music and um, there's a couple of things that were on my mind and I just journaled and it's great because you stick down things that speak to you and underneath here you can't see it because I've washed it all out with paint um, I wrote some prayers and some things that I was struggling with that I wanted to give to, over to God and I've done that and I, I finished it off with um, some words from a song that was played at my friend's baptism recently um, and uh, this um, came off one of my actual son's baptism cards because he also got baptised recently so took that off one of his cards and um, just some, some words and pictures that were to do with what I was discussing um, a little happy mail sticker that I got off my Fauna Rose um, parcel I keep everything just for collage and journaling and things so a bit of a random one for in the middle of my sketchbook but again I, normally I would have kept this for my messy sketchbook but actually why not put it in my main sketchbook and that's what I'm trying to do more of I'm trying to not kind of put things in other places just because I want to keep this all pristine because it's a Strathmore sketchbook it's an expensive sketchbook I want to keep it for final pieces and polished pieces get messy um, so I gave my myself permission to do that and I'm really pleased with how this turns out this again this is just for me this isn't be mained into anything for my Etsy store that is just for me. Um, this is a bit more experimentation. I was um, toying with ideas for product ranges and um, color palettes. These um, biscuits ended up being a sticker pack in my recent shop update. Um, and I love this little worm. I think I'm gonna, because I'm doing a book merch range for my summer update and i think this is going to be the freebie sticker because i like him uh so stay tuned for that one if you are a book lover like me uh this is a piece that i done in one of my other sketchbooks but i loved it so much i wanted to stick it in here um <laughs> basically sums up my head really daydreamer um but i love i especially love how i've done the cheekbones again this is just using pro markers um i love the effect and the kind of smoothness that pro markers give they are a pain because they just bleed through everything but i really enjoy um the blending that you're able to do with them 
one of my favorite art supplies actually so that's a cool piece there now we're getting on to starting to experiment i think i left this page blank because this is actually um days designs challenge a lot of these um, but i haven't done a 30 days of sketchbook yet so i think i came back and used this blank page um, this was a draw this in your style um, from comfy and card i think her name was um, this actually again turned into a vinyl sticker that's now available on my shop i originally brought it out for chinese new year um, but i've kept him on there because i think he is quite cute so yeah again some of these of me experimented i don't oh, did i use this guy in the end i'm not quite sure but he's really, really cute but these are daily designs um prompt challenges now this is my 30 day sketchbook challenge i kept all the prompts on this double spread and i'm really i'm really proud of myself how i kept it really really simple and i actually with the 30 day sketchbook challenge it's just a little bit different than peach tober and 28 days of sunshine from delhi and um and Sean because they release their list of prompts in advance whereas on the 30 day sketchbook challenge you don't get the prompt until the day so you can't pre-plan it is actually coming and showing up to your sketchbook every single day so none of these were pre-planned whereas the peach tober and the day signs were these were done every single day and i did it for the full 30 days and it started on the 1st of january so right after the christmas slump um i produced this um this spread and i'm i'm really pleased with how it turned out do i love every single piece no there is one piece here which i covered up because i didn't like it so much with a little bit of tracing paper but there are some really nice bits i love my little goldfish here um i love some of the shading like on my um light bulb the spoon my um basketball was which, which was day one um, it's actually one of my favorites so all I used was a fine liner black fine liner soft pastels and occasionally I also use a white Posca just to highlight certain areas um, and that's it and I just love how the spread turned out really really happy you can see I've got all the individual dates next to all the different prompts and I think it makes a really really good spread so I would like to take inspiration from this for maybe when I come to do Peach Tober at the end of the year. Um, maybe I'll have to watch back this video as accountability because I know I'm probably going to forget all that and go um, deep dive into something really challenging. But this was just an example of how to keep it simple and it made a beautiful spread. Like little things like just practicing these feet and like anatomy and things really really enjoyed this challenge um literally like night and day the difference between these but again i'm doing it on purpose i'm using different materials um switching up my style seeing what i enjoy doing um what turns out well what doesn't as you can see i've got like little doodles around this page so this was me playing around with the daily designs 28 days of sunshine prompts so for these i used a red v pen uh, from Pilot and a set of Tombows I've got them here these were the Tombow markers that I used and I only used these colours so I kept it as a limited colour palette just to try and see how I got on with those and again recognise this guy Spyro from uh, the is it is it 2000 or more like 90s um, showing my age with that one I was Playstation girly um, I like my little ducky with the with the umbrella ducky having a bath this one's really good like this chill vibes one not all of them worked out um, another little nostalgia thing there with the clip art um, paper clip now this is still the same challenge but as you can see i've switched up slightly instead of doing the um the red v pen which sometimes i felt could be a bit harsh sometimes it worked out well like with the hummingbird but sometimes i felt it was a little bit harsh so I switched it up for a red luminance pencil to see how that would affect. And on some of them, oh, there's my little otter guy again. On some of them I really liked, um, this little cat, for example, and some things it just didn't work. And then right at the end of the challenge, I switched it up yet again, and I went back to outline things with a black fine liner. And I think that's what I've learned. Um, 
although I've seen other illustrators um, outlining in maybe browns or reds. For me, for my style, I think I really just love outlining in black. Um, it's interestingly, I've always loved outlining in black, black since I was a child. Um, even when I was a child, I used to outline my illustrations in black. So maybe there's something in that <laughs> if you want to be all um, psych psychology about it. Um, but uh, yeah, so it, it's again, it's showing experimenting. And then moving on, um, this was right at the end of the challenge. Um, I <laughs> outlined in purple here, again, trying something different. The purple actually worked quite bad, quite well, actually. I, I quite like these last little prompts. This was the last little prompt, what brings you sunshine? This was meant to re represent me, hubby, and little man, our little family. And this is the Easter image I was talk talking about. So I drew this one initially as an Easter design because I bought, um, if you watched my studio vlog, you would have seen me buy some egg-shaped acrylic um, Easter decorations and I want a design to go on it. So I drew this purposely for that. But I love the design so much that I've actually made them into freebie stickers. And that is currently a freebie sticker as well on my shop along with the vase of tulips. So I've got two designs out of that. And actually, before I colored it in, I scanned it in and it's also a colouring page on my Etsy store. So three uses out of one one image. So I'm um, pretty pleased with that. And this is the last spread of this half of the sketchbook because I'm only doing half. Um, and then we'll do the other half in a separate sketchbook tour. I haven't even done it yet, as you can see. I stopped here so far. So I'm excited to see how the rest of the sketchbook goes because I I've been disappointed with some of the art I've been um, producing but again I'm trying to move away from that I'm just giving myself grace I've been experimenting I've been doing daily art challenges um, I shouldn't be disappointed I shouldn't be embarrassed which is why I'm sharing it on here um, but it will be interesting to see how the second half of the sketchbook goes anyway you can probably guess the books I've been reading at the moment um, if you watch my book vlogs then you will know I've been doing a Narnia challenge for Lent I've been reading all seven Narnia books and I felt inspired to do this little spread um, because thinking ahead already to my Christmas range, it is going to be Narnia inspired. Um, I really love how my lamppost turned out. So this is just um, black fine line there with white Posca. And I did the whole GCSE classic of tea staining my page. This is just tea staining it with a tea bag. Um, very GCSE, I know. Um, but I had a lot of fun doing it. There's a little wardrobe, Aslan, and this, can you work out what this is? This is the little tin of Turkish delight that the White Witch um, manages to tempt Edmund with. Um, so I thought that was quite funny. Um, but this um, lion here, obviously the lion is Aslan. I'm not 100% happy with the face on this one, but I do love this one. I love his face. I think it's quite approachable, but solemn. Um, um, I, I'm, anatomy isn't 100% right, but I still like it. Um, I especially love his little face. Close up his face. Um, that was just a really quick drawing that I did recently. Um, yeah, that is the sketchbook. Thank you for joining me guys for this sketchbook tour. Um, as I said, I feel a bit nervous about putting this on YouTube because it isn't my best work. I feel that my other sketchbook tours were better, so please go back and look at those. But I wanted to share with you that it's okay to experiment in your sketchbook, it's okay to be loose in your sketchbook and try out different art styles even if it doesn't work because all the time you are learning. You are learning what you enjoy doing, you in, um, are learning what works for you or what's for other people might not necessarily work for you and I think you can only do that by playing so come to your sketchbook with an attitude of playing and give yourself some grace and that's the message that I'm giving myself more so than you but hopefully you can get something from that as well so thank you for joining me again we're about halfway through the sketchbook now so I'm excited to see what um, happens with the rest of the sketchbook I would love to finish it off maybe by the summer I think I could. I'm in the mood for doing some sketchbook pages and getting some more mixed media in there. So 
watch out for some mixed media um, landscapes coming up because that's the mood that I'm in. I'm actually going to, straight after this, I'm gonna, I've got an idea for a spread that I'm going to do. So I'm going to do that right this very second. So uh, have a lovely Easter if you're watching this in real time. But whenever you're watching it, um, have a lovely day. Uh, God bless and I will see you in the next one. Bye.